Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video, my movie review for the letter H. I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing for the letter I and I'll introduce you to the Lenny Beanie. So let's get started. The movie for the letter H is The Hunter. It was released in 2011 and it's set in Tasmania, Australia and it's about an hour long. It stars William Defoe, an American actor who did a lot of work in Australia around that time. I believe he's had about three cameo roles in three different Spider-Man movies and he was the voice of Gil in Finding Nemo. He has a gravelly style voice and once you see his picture you'll know who I'm talking about. I'll have to revert to my notes for the female it's Frances O'Connor. She's an English-Australian actress best known for her roles in Mansfield Park, Artificial Intelligence and the Importance of Being Earnest. I have seen Artificial Intelligence. She didn't make a great impression on me for me to remember her. This movie also stars Sam Neill. I've said before, is one of my favourites. So the synopsis of the movie, I'll read that to you. Mercenary Martin David, played by William Defoe, is hired by a military biotech company called Redleaf to go to Tasmania and gather samples of a supposedly extinct marsupial, the thylacine, better known in the world as the Tasmanian tiger. He has further instructions to kill all remaining tigers to ensure no competing organisation gets their DNA. Now, the Tasmanian tiger is believed to have been extinct since I think about the 40s sometime, but lots of Tasmanians believe it's still alive. It's just very shy and timid of humans. And lots of scientists and people research and go looking for the Tasmanian tiger. But I personally believe it's still, it is extinct because they've never found bones, they've never found any real traces no photographs of it. I just think they wish it was still alive because it is a unique looking animal. I will put a photo or picture of it at the end of this video. The movie, had, for my viewing, had different storylines in within the movie, but you could follow them. They weren't all confused and messed up like some movies. I am a skeptic when it comes to the Tasmanian tiger, but it was a good movie. I did enjoy it. I do enjoy watching William Defoe in anything he does. He always brings something unique to each role. And I love Tasmania, like I said before. If I could, I would retire there um, if I could afford it. It is, especially around Hobart, the climate is cold in winter, which I love, and the summers are mild. It's close to the Antarctic, or it's on the Antarctic run, so you get those Antarctic winds, and I love that cold weather. Um, so in the movie, he wears beanies, and I decided, because of the cold weather of Tasmania, I would make a beanie. So introducing the Lenny beanie. Now, the Lenny beanie pattern was a gift with my... Um, Odyssey crochet hook I won in the Gifts of Love raffle run by Sin. Um, the gift, the actual donation of the gift came from Crochet Nana A.K. Michelle. I just expected the hook but she sent me yarn and she sent me this pattern because I'm a knitter and I really like it. It's called the Lenny Beanie. My dad's name was Leonard. And my mum always called him Lenny, so that hit a note too. Here is a picture of Beanie. Now see that pattern. And the reason I wanted to try this is because it had something in it that I've never done. And that is a provisional cast on. So I gave it a go. I didn't do a pom-pom, but this is my Lenny Beanie. Now my yarn, yarn choice probably wasn't great to show the pattern being like a mixture of colours but yes and I did the professional cast on I didn't do too bad a job but I think I need practice so basically you cast on and you have a like a, a crochet thread and when you get to a certain place you stop and go back and pull that out and pick up the stitches and you knit 
the rib which folds on and joins underneath it's it's quite different and I'd really like to give it a go again and give it some practice but that's provisional cast on and that is the Lenny Beanie the yarn I used is Modavira Feral Anti-Pilling which was a spotlight yarn 100% acrylic it is beautiful and soft I do have this in pink and white and some browns um, because I think it's discontinued now which is a shame the 250 meters I didn't check the yardage in each um, ball or skein and it uses a four millimeter knitting needle or crochet hook it is lovely yarn it's beautiful to work with it's just a shame that they're not carrying it anymore so that was my movie review for the letter H. I highly recommend you source The Hunter. Um, it's not a really involved story. So three and a half stars out of five. It could have been better. And yes, it's a perfect movie to watch on a cold rainy day like I did. So for the movie I, I am going to be doing, and I have to remember what it's called. I Love You Too, an Australian movie released in 2010. I Love You Too was written and he starred in it by Peter Hellyer, an Australian comedian. Look, I'm not a big fan of him, but I'm prepared to give the movie a go because movie and stitch for me was stepping outside my comfort zone. Because until I started movie and stitch, all I ever watched were thrillers or whodunits. And yes... I love you too. A bit of a romantic comedy, I think. Guys, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've ever done, if you're a knitter, provisional cast on. And yeah, if you've watched the movie The Hunter, let me know in the comments below. Have a nice day. Take care. Stay safe. And make sure you have a crafty day making a beanie. Bye for now.